this is Dion, Cold Pioneers. Today's video is all about keyboards, in particular, mechanical keyboards. If you do a Google search on best keyboards for programmers, you're going to see this keyboard here on that list somewhere, if not number one. This is the Philco Majesta Touch 2 a mechanical keyboard. And in today's video, I'm putting this up against my other favorite mechanical keyboard, which is the Red Dragon K566B RGB mechanical gaming keyboards. I use both of these keyboards interchangeably pretty much every single day. And so let's get into uh, maybe some similarities first, and then we'll get into the differences uh, of these keyboards and which one that I would choose uh, based on my experience with both of them. So the first uh, similarity is, as we said, they're both mechanical keyboards, right? And so, I don't know, if you're not uh, familiar with the difference between a mechanical keyboard as opposed to uh, what they call a membrane keyboard or just like a regular keyboard that is like on your laptop or comes with your computer. Basically the difference is the tactile feedback you get from the keyboard. So uh, a regular keyboard uh, for one doesn't really give you that great of feedback to uh, assure you that you've actually clicked the right key. And so the mechanical keyboards are like great when it comes to that. Uh, as a matter of fact, with a regular keyboard, it can't sense usually more than six keys at a time. As opposed to a mechanical keyboard, like the Philco Majestic Touch 2, if you press the entire home row key, ASDFJKL semicolon, all at the same time, all of those keys at the same time will register. So mechanical keyboards give you that feedback, um, much like if you were to use a cell phone and you had the uh, haptic feedback on there to make the vibrations to let you know you touched it. That's what the mechanical keyboards do for us on a computer and it just makes typing like quicker and more accurate. So that's one of the similarities there. Another similarity, especially between these two keyboards here again, is they are both the 10 keyless versions of these keyboards, meaning there is no number pad on the sides of it. So that might be like a deal breaker for gamers, but for programmers, um, we basically don't really use the, the 10 keypad, the number keys. We, we don't want <laughs> that much real estate on a keyboard we like to keep our fingers in place you know so it's not like you want a piano type of deal where you, you want your hands traversing a big keyboard for programmers we like to just stay in one spot to be faster and more accurate so the ones without the uh, keypad on the side here um, is a little bit better for us so they both uh, these versions both have um, the 10 keyless here but they can come with a number pad too so um, pretty much programmers or anybody who is in a typing profession where you type and speed and accuracy is a need um, you definitely want to go with a mechanical keyboard so those are the similarities what are like the differences right you know um, outside of you know just the look so first of all the Ninja uh, keyboard here does not have any numbers or letters on the top of the keys. <laughs> so when you look at it like this, you don't see anything. Uh, where they're at is actually on the sides here. So that's one difference there. And the, what it does is it serves to a couple uh, purposes. Uh, number one, the paint doesn't wear off. Um, from constant use so the letters and numbers and symbols never fade off of because they're on the sides of it and two because you cannot see <laughs> you can't see them when you just look down at it you actually kind of have to duck down to see a little bit it forces you to um, memorize the keys and to type from memory which is going to speed up your typing and make you more accurate 
So that's a benefit uh, of the Ninja Majesta Touch 2 keyboard. Um, the letters and numbers on the side of the keyboards. Now, some other uh, differences here. Of course, you don't have any backlit lights um, like, like the uh, Red Dragon has the backlit lights. The only lights on here is the caps lock and the scroll lock on this one. Um, but also, as far as the clicking mechanism, this uh, keyboard here actually uses the Cherry MX Brown uh, clicking mechanism. And so what that, that does is it means you don't have to press a lot of force to get any feedback. And you don't really get a clicking sound when you press it. So I'm going to be quiet for a second and I'm going to put the keyboard right up to the mic. And see, you can just barely hear it. So Cherry MX Brown um, uh, clicking uh, mechanisms or switches on uh, the keyboard, what it does is you don't have to use a, a lot of force um, to get the key to register on the computer and you don't get the clicking sound. So it's like typing on a pillow. I mean, <laughs> I can see why this is number one on a lot of lists. You just, you get to it, it's simplistic. You don't, you're not distracted by anything on the top. You're just sitting down, you're getting straight to work, and it's literally like sticking your fingers into butter. <laughs> and you're just typing, and it just feels so good. It's soft, it's smooth, there's not a lot of noise, and it's just a great keyboard. So, that is the Ninja Majesta Touch 2. Let's get into the Red, the red Dragon um, mechanical gaming keyboard. Now, um, the first thing that you realize about this keyboard it is it just looks cool, right? I mean, it's just a joy to come down here and, and just start typing on this keyboard. And if I hit, if I hit function and some of these buttons up here, um, it changes some of the lighting on it. If I hit uh, home, it'll change it to uh, to register when I click on it. Um, if I hit um, function and page up, uh, it does this little uh, rainbow effect. So a lot of different effects on it. So this is pretty cool that I don't have to like program this. This came like this and I'm using a Mac. And these keyboards are like, really made for like Windows and PC. Uh, you even have, like can see like a little <laughs> Windows symbol on there. <laughs> so, but I don't have to program this. I can do, just change all of that right here on the keyboard. So right away, it just looks cooler than the Majesta Touch 2. So, and it has this cool like blue outer covering on it and blue's my favorite color. So I, I love that a lot. It has the lit up, um, backlight keys so you can type like in a dark darker setting um, as opposed to the Majesta touch where you can't see the keys if it's kind of dark in a room so that's one pro that this has this also has or uses the cherry MX blue switches in them for the keys and what that means is it's way louder um, it has a click on purpose to let you know you click the key. So I'm going to put this up to the mic. And I'm just barely touching these keys. You don't even have to press it all the way down and you get the click. And that's on purpose. That's to tell your brain that, hey, you fully clicked this key what you click should be on the screen right now so in a way the clicking actually helps your speed and accuracy as well now a couple of things with this keyboard though the the keys on here is uh, the the finish is a lot slicker than the uh, Majesta Touch 2 here so this keyboard 
um, your fingers grip it a little bit better like especially if you just like finish eating or just put lotion on your hands or something like that or something anyway your fingers could slip off of this keyboard if there's like you know something on there and also the finish kind of leaves fingerprints on on these so you know you'll have to wipe them off a lot more uh, than the Majestic Touch 2 so you know that's pretty much the uh, the difference between the two like I said they're both mechanical but you're really talking about hey which one am I going to be productive with or the most productive with and the answer just depends on how you work do you want to not be distracted at all do you want to just sit at your computer not see any key <laughs> any numbers or symbols or letters and just start typing and have the quietest typing experience that you can possibly imagine or you want to have a party <laughs> right <laughs> do you want do you want the rainbow keyboard with the clicking sound and all the cool effects and the, the cool colors and things like that um, do you want that um, personally as far as which one I would go with um, I won't say I would go with this one um, I, I would not just because um, it's like three times the price uh, of this like right now on Amazon this one is is going for like a hundred and forty four dollars whereas uh, this uh, Red Dragon keyboard and and their other models that are similar to this one are going um, for somewhere between like 40 and like $60 or some somewhere in that range so this is a lot um, more cost effective and it just looks cooler so if, if I did not have a keyboard right now and I wanted to try a mechanical keyboard I would go with this one just because it looks cooler <laughs> the clicking effects um, to me helps also to speed up um, accuracy and speed up the typing and also to um, I don't know I just like to see the letters on the top I, I understand the reasoning behind the Majesta touch and it has made me faster but again as far as picking one keyboard if I was going to start out with one it would be the cooler a cheaper keyboard <laughs> with the backlit light so that's it that's that's my review for these two keyboards um, like I said I use them every day though and you know just for just for some practical um, advice on how how and why I use both of them every day this one I use down here so I'm, I'm technically like in the basement right now and you know this keyboard is just you know it's I usually kind of have like the lighting a little bit lower like it is now like I have the like the little blue lights blue light back there the white light on the other side of me and it's, it's just like a low light chill type of environment um, but this one is louder so it doesn't disturb like anybody else in the house um, when I'm typing on it but this keyboard I use like on the, the main level where I have a desk up there too that I work from and it's quieter I can type on it I can work there and I can be like in on the main level of the house but like my wife my daughter they they don't have to really hear a lot of typing um, it's not really that noisy so that's kind of how I use it <laughs> and just to like when I come down here it's for fun <laughs> like <laughs> you know I'll come down here to get on YouTube and to, to you know make some cool projects and you know I usually use this one for my cool personal projects and when I'm actually like working for like my actual job <laughs> I'll use this one and I'll get straight to work and this is the one I brought to the office when uh, before this pandemic when we were still working in the office I brought the ninja and only brought this one once 
to the office just to show them how cool it was and then I never brought it again because it was just too cool to bring. So that's it. Tell me what you think. What keyboard are you using? Are you still on a fence between what keyboard to get? Um, have you never used a mechanical keyboard before and you, you're looking to see which one you should get or you've gotten one and you know maybe <laughs> maybe it's not everything that you thought it was going to be anyway leave a comment in um, in the section below here and I got links to these keyboards in the description too so if you want to check them out go ahead and click the links there in the description if you're not subscribed to this channel I don't know what you're waiting on Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give me a like on this video and I'll see you in the next video.